Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Misty Hino with Misty Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's day was backwards shirts day. So I took my robotic shirt and turned it backwards. Um, so don't think I'm weird or crazy. Um, but you, some of you have been asking me because you teach summer school and have robotics. Like what are some cool activities to do um, with robotics and summer kids and camps and whatever you guys are doing with robotics. And I have our culminating Everybody wants to participate. I remember this from last summer mission. Are we going to do this again? Activity. So you're going to have to stay with me to find out what this activity is. Okay, so this activity I'm calling the Heat Seeking Robot. Um, for those of you that know what the ultrasonic sensor can do, we're using that to help us and our robot destroy buildings. Well, not real buildings, but buildings that students would build and then we want to smash it and tear it down. I mean, come on, who doesn't like to tear things down? So what I'm going to do is show you what we do with the robot and the rules and the building and it's going to be just awesome. So let's get to the floor. Okay, you can um, split your teams however you like. I usually split my teams according to how many students are in the class. Um, so if it's like 24 students, I might split them eight, eight, and eight. Um, if it's only 12 students, I might just split them six and six, or I could do four, four, and four. So I'm definitely trying to get either two or three teams. Now what's gonna happen is each team will have a designated spot in the room Usually I like to make it like a triangle where each um, spot is equally distant from the other. And what the job of each team is to do for the first part of this activity is to build a tower. Now in years past, I have had this done out of Legos. This year I couldn't find my container of Legos, so we use these Jenga blocks, which I think might be more awesome. And I'm having the teams build a tower in side of a certain area so you can see this area and i usually try to have them build it high so it's cool to knock stuff over obviously if they just made it flat that wouldn't be fun so i usually tell them i say make your tower over 12 inches tall and this one's way over 12 inches tall and then what the job then of each team is to get a robot program their robot to be a building seeking missile robot to try to destroy uh, the other team's buildings. And at the end, whoever's building is the least amount destroyed, or maybe it's even standing up still, who knows, uh, wins. So let me go ahead and show you the program, and then let me show you the robot that will destroy this building right here. All right, so I already have this program on the robot, so I'm basically just gonna describe what it is. Okay, so the first part of this uh, program is a forward and I'm going to leave it up to each team. Now we've been doing a lot of floor programming so I'm expecting each team to kind of know how far 5 seconds is, how far 10 seconds goes. So I'm going to demonstrate this just because I know 10 seconds is pretty good. It's going to go forward for 10 seconds. My robot is going to spin kind of like radar would have um, you know something spin and my robot will be using the ultrasonic sensor if it sees anything 60 centimeters you know in its way it will be programmed to go forward for 60 seconds I think that's way more than enough time to seek and destroy this building so that's basically the program let's go to the floor and watch this in action Okay, everybody, here I am on the floor with my robot. There is the infamous tower that we want to knock over. And some of you might be asking, Mr. You know, why don't you just aim your robot at the tower? And I could. Um, however, this robot, I know because I've been running it all week, I know this robot has a severe left drift. Um, to be honest, I don't know. They all kind of have a left drift to it, and I just don't know how far, you know, to the right, I'd have to aim this to get to that tower. But more importantly, I want to use the sensor in the program because, you know, we're teaching the, the students about the, you know, the sensors and what they do. And if we're just aiming it, then they kind of lose that knowledge about how the sensor works. And um, I just think it's better 
that I use this in the program. So my job in this here, it's kind of like, um, I don't know, I guess it's like a grenade. I want to get it close and then I'll just let the sensor take over. So I am trying to aim it towards there, but I know if I'm off, I know that the sensor will kick in and destroy this tower. So is everybody ready? Here we go. Let me get up off the floor here. There we go. Yeah. Seek and destroy. Okay guys, so hopefully you liked that video. Um, it's just really cool to see how excited the kids get when they destroy things. I mean, come on, you remember when we were, you can have kids when you're three, four, five year old, they just like to break things and you know knock stuff over. So it's really exciting for them to get all excited about knocking it over and trying to beat the other team, as long as they're not too competitive. Um, but it's just really neat to have them see how that program works and to go, oh, the ultrasonic, it can see things and it can help my robot to get to where it wants to go. So anyway, hopefully you like that video. I'm Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out.